It's Saturday. Let's check out the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. Hello, everyone. It's Herb from World of Walt, and welcome to another live broadcast from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. This is the opening weekend for the Flower and Garden Festival. The festival started up this Wednesday. Had a chance to check it out, courtesy of the nice folks at Disney Media Relations, and had a chance to post some articles over at worldofwalt.com. We are going to take a tour today of some of the new things you can see here at the Flower and Garden Festival and just enjoy the fun of Epcot. So here we are at the entrance to Epcot, and we can see that Disney Wish is center stage. Susan, good morning to you. Marge, hello. So Asha is here along with Valentino and the Wishing Star, all looking good in their topiary form. Valentino seems to be having a especially good day. I think he's having fun. Susan from Akron, Ohio, hello to you. And Donna, good morning. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. You First too. Hi, I'm Herb. Nice Herb, to see you. That's right. <laughs> and your name? Sherry. Okay, want to say hi to everyone on the broadcast? Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the day. That was fun. Always good to see people on the uh, here in the parks. Gina, hello to you. Rainy, New Jersey. Hope you're having a good day. We have a little bit of an overcast day here in Central Florida. 72 degrees on the way up to 81. Not bad. Actually, it's nice that it's not so warm. Uh, when I was here Wednesday for the opening day, it felt like summertime. It was it was definitely hot. Lynn, good morning to you. Chris, hello. Ruth, good morning from Maine. William in Kansas, hello to you. So we're going to just be strolling around World Celebration. Uh, maybe I'll go and check out Journey of Water just for the fun of it. Uh, but we'll be sure to take in the new topiaries here and the new or the topiaries with new locations, so specifically Figment, I'm looking at you, who is now smack dab in the middle of World Celebration. Uh, but we've got the new Groot topiary, we've got the new uh, Coco topiary. Uh, we have the Butterfly Garden, which has returned, which was fun. And I've been trying to practice the word Crystallis. And how many times do you get to say that word? Anne-Marie in Queens, New York, how are you? Welcome to Epcot, hi Tanya. A lot of people still getting chilly weather. I guess that makes sense. It's March 1st, 2nd, excuse me. Susan, good morning. Good morning to you in South Florida. It's good to see you here as always. All a rainy day in Dansville, PA. Uh, we got a lot of people queuing up for Spaceship Earth. 30 minute wait. A lot of people make a beeline straight towards Spaceship Earth. They often come back later in the day and not have to wait nearly as long. But that means a lot of steps. Marsha, hello to you. Salt Lake City, 47 degrees and very windy. A little bit windy here as well. Hello, Stacy. Nice to see you. Hopefully not getting too much wind noise on the mic. Peggy says now, Saturday can begin. There should be a t-shirt that says something like that. Oh, wait, there is. You can check it out over at worldofwaltstore.com as well as the brand new release of the Tom Morrow shirt, which came out last week. A lot of very positive feedback on that. You can also check out Countdown Calendar at worldofwaltstore.com. I don't have a lot of those left, actually. Our inventory is getting down, so if you want one, now is the time to grab it. We'll probably be asking for a new series of tips for the next version of the calendar. More on that to come, thanks to the mind of Topher. Rhonda, John, good morning to you. Christine, yeah, we do have some gray skies here at Epcot. But still, it feels sunny. Well, not weather-wise, but just sort of vibe-wise. Dottie, hello to you. Lisa, good morning from Indiana. Let the weekend to begin. Okay, we're going to hang right. As long as there's not a queue for Moana Journey of Water, we'll take a quick spin through there. Maybe we'll check out the Butterfly Garden presented by the nice folks at Advent Health. We'll make sure to cross back over to see Groot. And we'll make our way back towards the Mexico Pavilion and see the new Coco Topiaries. Monorail going by. John says 88 very long days to go. That'll be here before you know it. Jody, hello to you. Peggy has a sunny day in Chicago. That's good. Hope the weather's not too chilly there. 
Looks like people are lined up here for a meet and greet with Milana. Which makes sense for Journey of Waters right here. Not too long ago, Disney announced that the next Moana, Moana 2, is going to be coming out. It was originally designed to be uh, a TV release. Uh-oh. Journey of Water, temporarily closed. Looks like maybe it's evaporated. Okay, no problem. Still plenty to see and do. We will head over to the Butterfly Garden. Beautiful trees in bloom here in the Florida edition of springtime. Purple flowers, very pretty. Hi Jennifer, good morning to you. Paula, hello to you. Going to be here in April. That's going to be here before you know it. Bob, hello to you. You're welcome. Okay, the seagulls are back at the Living Seas with Nemo and friends. They've got their lines down. Mine, mine, mine. Valerie, hello to you. Scott's got 72 days to go. It's always fun to count down the number of days till your next visit. Paula, Tracy, good morning to you. All right, so up ahead to our right is the Land Pavilion and the Butterfly Garden, which we'll go and check out, which is always very beautiful. Fun to see. Iona says, tell everyone how they can get a little bit of Disney magic delivered every month. Iona, thank you so much. You win the award. My undying appreciation for prompting what is a seemingly never-ending stream of shameless plugs for the Pin of the Month Club. If you or anyone you know would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, Iona suggests that you check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Beautiful flowers here in uh, world nature. Tammy says Epcot is awesome. It is a beautiful park. Now we can see over here to our left that construction continues on the new Communicore Hall and Plaza. Sort of the flex space that's going to have Mickey and Friends meet and greet, some kitchens, probably lots and lots of... Uh, space for festival type stuff since this seems to be the festival type park one of the last components to be wrapped up in the multi-year reimagining of Epcot. all right here we are at the butterfly landing hopefully the fact that it's covered with chain mail i guess what that's not chain mail chains <laughs> curtain of chains is not going to mess up the broadcast too much. We'll see if we can sort of pop in real fast. Joel, hello to you. Heather says, can't wait to be here in person. Alice loves the butterfly garden. Very fun. Marked by beautiful butterfly-shaped topiaries on the way in. Nice view. Cheryl said, favorite park, 197 days to go. Thank you. And we're in. All right, it might be a little bit hard to catch it on the camera, but I can see butterflies all over already. Agnes, good morning to you. Meg, hello. Hey, here's a rubber tree. I don't know that I've ever really seen a real live rubber tree or knew that it was a rubber tree. Very cool. All right, and here we have all the butterflies working to hatch in their chrysalis. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I was trying to practice that. I don't think I got it right. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. When I see something like this, I'm always glad that they're very small because if that was human size, I would be totally freaked out. You can see some of them are kind of wiggling a little bit. Very interesting. Brenda's got 189 days to go, her trip from West Virginia. All right, very cool. Terry, good morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Monica, I'm, good morning. I'd be squinting a lot right now. I need to... Oh, this tree got all kinds of butterflies on it. Deborah is an Epcot fan. Pat, good morning to you. Elmer, thanks for the emojis. Those are very nice butterflies. Online. Lots of interesting displays here as well. Kind of tell you about butterfly habitats, what you can do to promote homes for butterflies. Spending time in nature is a great way to relax, rejuvenate, and practice mindfulness, the art of living in the moment. As you walk through the garden, take a moment to notice all the living things around you from the smallest butterfly to the tallest tree. I do feel, feel very mindful right now. I don't really know I quite exactly what that is, but we're, we're going with it. Karen says, beautiful to see the plants and the butterflies. Oh, we've got a little water feature here, very nice. A coral plants. Tammy's got 176 days to go. Dee, good morning to you. Early morning in San Diego. Thanks for spending a bit of your early Saturday with me. Alright, more Chris Salas. Vicky, hello to you. Gwen says she needs a countdown calendar. Gwen, you can get one over at worldofwaltstore.com. But if you're interested in getting this edition, if you have a trip coming up in the next year, now's the time to get your order in because the inventory is almost gone. Thanks to everybody who has already placed an order. Joey, good morning to you. Reginald, hello. Alan, good morning. In Tonawanda, New York. Very nice. Kathy, hello to you. Heather said in her dream she has a backyard garden that looks like this. All you need is a few million dollars and a few dozen gardeners and insect people, and that could be yours. Brian Hakuna Matata to you. Okay, I don't know who the folks at Brightview Development are, but whoever they are, they've done a really nice job. The butterfly garden is beautiful. Susan, hello to you. Uh, let's continue our stroll here in Epcot. to the center of world celebration and check out the new location for the figment topiary. I believe in the past the figment topiary was located here at the entrance sign. And have a chance to see the butterfly topiaries here at the entrance to the butterfly landing with the beautiful pyramids of the imagination pavilion in the background. Ashley, hello to you. Richard, how's it going? Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Oh, yes, this cut through is blocked off. I need to backtrack a little bit. That's okay. We're going to have to head back this way anyway. Topher, thanks for putting the link to the countdown calendar in the chat. You always head over to worldofaltstore.com for all the merchandise. Stephanie, hello to you. Says, love seeing the beautiful blooms. It's an especially pretty time to be here at Epcot. Michael, good morning to you. Okay, so work continues on the last remaining bits of the Epcot transformation here in World Celebration, Communicore Hall, Communicore Plaza, where work seems to be going on seven days a week. They are really pushing to get this finished.
John, hello to you in Texas. Terry says, love seeing the topiaries, all so beautiful. That they are. Rose, good morning to you. Michael asked if we're going to be doing any attractions. I don't think so. I think today is a day to wander and make sure that we hit all of the topiaries and take in some others along the way. Shannon, hello to you. <laughs> Donald says, thinks I deserve a lobster tail. Uh, there is a lobster tail over at the, uh, I think maybe the Florida Fresh or the Citrus Kitchen this year. Looks pretty good. With key lime butter. Key lime, one of my favorite flavors. Jeff, hello to you. You can see some people working on Communicore Hall even today. Exterior is coming together. Lori, hello to you. Happy Saturday. Vicky ordered the Pooh and Friends statue. Very cool. Robert says, sorry, I missed the pin of the month club plug. Robert, you know, there's always another one coming up. And in fact, because of that kind comment, you have prompted the next shameless plug for the pin of the month club. Thank you. If you or anyone you know would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. All right, so world celebration. Oh, we've got Pluto here saying hello to folks. we got the Figment Topiary ahead and the Janitors. Maybe we'll see if we can take in their show for a few minutes if they're still performing when we make our way over there. Brian says, cloudy all over the southeast this week. It is a cloudy day here for sure. But I don't mind that. It's not so bad. Even the Sunshine State doesn't feel quite as hot. Okay, so here we go. The new place for Figment. Smack dab in the middle of World Celebration with Spaceship Earth in the background. Yeah. Beautiful pink flowers in the background. Figment, you're looking good. Hope you're enjoying the new home there. Elmer's waving hello to Pluto. Karen says, always misses the janitors. Always fun to see.
Yeah, that was fun. Debbie says, do they tell you when and where they will be? If you look at the My Disney Experience app, uh, it is listed as one of the entertainment items in the list, as it has been in the past, so yes, you can find out when they are performing, which is great because it's a fun act. They do a really good job. Mary says, Jaminator is always fun to watch. For a long time, I incorrectly called them the Jaminators. I don't know why. It's like a Terminator and Jaminator together. But Jaminators. Jeffrey says, they are awesome. Yes, they are. All right. Let's head over towards... I got to do my Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ah, thank Saturday. you for watching. Want to say hi to everybody? She loves your shirt. She's got a couple of your shirts. Her name's uh, Kelly. Kelly. Okay, hi Kelly. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Tell her I said hi. Night. You too. All right, we got Donald over here in topiary form. Let's take a quick peek at that. And then we will seek out Groot. Groot who works on his dialogue for a long time for his movies. Charles says, been a while, glad to see I'm still sharing Disney that I am. I'm here every Saturday, pretty much. Diana, hello to you, happy Saturday. Looking good. So here we have a community garden. Community garden can exist in any place where people come together to cultivate the land, perfect for growing a wide range of plants. These ingenious gardens can be found in areas as different as the blacktop parking lot or an open field. And while their size and shape may vary, all community gardens have one thing in common. They provide people with a sense of connection to the earth and to each other. Donald definitely has connection to the earth right here. Anthony says Epcot looks so much better with no walls for sure. It is nice to see that the years long reimagining of Epcot is finally wrapping up. Heather says it looks great. I think it does as well. Susan said cute duck. I agree with you. Charles says, heading to Disney Hawaii in 10 days. Hope you have a wonderful visit to Delani. Never been there before. I own a set an alarm so it doesn't miss, so she doesn't miss the Saturday stroll. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate your being here. Marianne says, can't wait to go to Disney. All right, Guardians of the Galaxy straight ahead. Wonderful coaster. Very innovative and fun. And we are on our way over to see the second new topiary, the 2024 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. Excuse me. This one is Groot. Groot complete with a cassette tape. So kids, back in the day, dark days, we used to use cassette tapes to get our music. Hard to understand that now. Groot's looking good. So I think in the past there has been some music, Guardians of the Galaxy-esque in this area. Not hearing it right now. Jeff, hello to you. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Judy's got the, the dialogue down. I am Groot. Gerald says, nothing beats people watching at Epcot. All kinds of interesting folks from all over the place here. Tim Peterson says, always a great day for Beverly. Hey, Tim, nice to see you. Beverly... A day without Beverly is a day without a certain taste in your mouth. But it is fun that it's there. Whenever I go, I try to encourage people to try the wonderful taste sensation that is Beverly. Some people do it. Some people give me a look. All right, we can see the Buzz Lightyear topiary over here in front of Mission Space, very appropriately placed. Diane from Delaware, hello to you. Kim is watching. Hi, Kim. Charlie says we got lots of people today. That we do. All right, 
good spot to say hello to Buzz with a view of Mission Space in the background. Uh, when it says colors are very pretty. I'm sorry, I missed the message. <laughs> Something about the colors. Diane is coming back in April. Hope you have a good trip. Russ, hello to you in Utah. Thanks for spending some of your early Saturday morning with me here at Epcot. 74 degrees on the way up to about 81 today. Should be a nice day. A little overcast, but it's not so bad. Okay, so earlier this week, some people were asking me to point out the entrance to the restaurant here connected with Mission Space, which is called Space 220. So you can see on the right-hand side, there's the black oval sign marking the entrance to Space 220. Great restaurant, great theme, nice food. The idea is you take a space elevator up 220 miles to your dining experience. Um, and the food's really good too. So on the right-hand side is the entrance to Space 220. On the left-hand side is the entrance to the attraction where the green mission is now 10 minutes and the orange, more intense mission is now 35. Let us continue on our tour of Epcot and the International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. Stacy, good morning to you in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Hope you're having a good day. Hmm, so I don't see people stretching out the door of Test Track and don't recall hearing the cars going by. I wonder if maybe the attraction is down. <laughs> Judy, don't move a muscle. I always do freeze up in that moment in the mission space because I don't want my ship to go tumbling over the edge, the canyon edge. Crystal, hello to you in rainy northeast Pennsylvania. I hope you're having a good day. This is Joanne, I think, said no more passport reservations available for Epcot. Wow, interesting. I'm going to sneeze, excuse me. I thought I was going to sneeze, and then it passed. All right, so for whatever reason, Test Track is not operating today. We're operating at this moment today. Elaine, hello to you. Ryan says, no noise for Test Track. Telltale sign, something's going on. We're not going on. All right, we're gonna make our way over towards the Odyssey and towards the Mexico Pavilion, where the new Coco Topiaries are out and looking good. Miguel and Dante, Dante's very colorful. Gerald says Test Track is down on the app. Okay, so this is an interesting spot here. Um, usually the donut spot, they call it the donut hole or something like that. But during the festival, it's called brunch cot, which is kind of fun. They have avocado toast, which is definitely a thing these days. And I had a chance to check out the biscuit and gravy with impossible chicken fried steak and impossible sausage gravy on a biscuit. Uh, it was actually very good. And fried cinnamon roll bites, I tried that as well. I mean, cinnamon and fried uh, together, you know, with candy bacon. It's a guaranteed winner. So the biscuit and gravy is right here. It was very good. It looked pretty much like that. And the fried cinnamon rolls, also very good. Candied bacon, you had me there. So uh, nice, nice combo. And actually, I tried the peach bellini, too. I didn't get an opportunity to try most all the food at this, this location. And it was very good. All right. Susan is saying hola to Mexico. We continue on. Lisa, hello. Thank you for watching. Jean says, uh, nicer restaurant. I think she's referring to Space 220. I, it is a bit of a nicer restaurant. Not your typical quick service. Um, you do have a server um, that's got more of a calm atmosphere. Very nice theming. Uh, more upscale food, I would say. Robert says, when is Test Track going to be refurbished? Robert, this is a great question. So Disney has made an announcement. 
that a refurbishment is coming with some references to maybe a, a touch of the old universe of motion or world of motion. I can't even remember what that was called now. Someone can help me out with the old name for Test Track. World of Motion. There we go. World of Motion. So, uh, yeah, they did announce that something was coming, but it was not very specific. There was a piece of concept art with, that was released. But just what's going to happen and when, we don't yet know. Shane says, the topiaries are very beautiful. I agree with you, Shane. Okay, here we are at the Citrus Blossom with something that is likely going to be very popular, which is a orange lemon smoothie sipper with Orange Bird. Orange Bird has been making a big comeback here in the past few years. Very cute character, originally designed for the Florida Citrus Association uh, and the opening of Walt Disney World in 1971. Donald, thank you, World of Motion. So um, you can see some photos and pricing on Orange Bird themed merchandise over at worldofwalt.com. Ah, and this gives us a chance to check out the beautiful topiaries along the banks of the little pond here. They always do an amazing job with these, these flowers. Some flowers in the front, some flowers in the back. Looks good. Marilyn says, a lemon orange smoothie, yummy. I agree. It's a nice combination right there. Anna, good morning to you. Heather says, daughter got the sipper last year and wants another one. <laughs> I mean, it just it just screams cute, right? That, that is a very cute piece of merchandise. All right, we're heading. We are heading back toward World Showcase and the third, and I believe the final brand new topiary for 2024, which is celebrating all things Coco, specifically Miguel and Dante. We did get a chance to see Figment in his new location, not a new topiary, but in a new location, right smack dab in the center of World Celebration. Tammy, hello to you. Happy Saturday. Thanks for being here. Lisa says Epcot is the most beautiful during the spring. It is a very nice time to visit. Not so hot. Flower well, Garden Festival really brings a lot of color out. Tanya said, the birds make it peaceful, that they do. Donna says, loves the flowers and the water. Dickie, 230 days until you're going to be here. Hope you have a great visit. You might want to check out magicalcountdown.com. Paper-based countdown calendar that allows you to count down up to 365 days. Almost have sold out of the first version. So if you have an interest in getting one, now would be a good time. And Topher and I are going to be working on an update. We'll be calling for your new suggestions, so stay tuned for that. Nice view here across the pond with all the flowers. You can see the pyramids of imagination off in the background. Phil says, has to try the orange lemon smoothie. Tom says, look like it might get wet. It does look a little gray for sure. Okay, Citrus Blossom is not open quite yet, but here's the menu. Let's see what we've got here. Orange sesame tempura shrimp, lemon meringue pie. That sounds good. Orange lemon smoothie in the souvenir orange bird sipper. Some beverages, good stuff. All right, I'm a little surprised we don't have a mega crowd around the topi area here, but I'm going to check it out. So the third and final, I believe, brand new topi area here for the Epcot Flower Garden Festival for 2024 from Coco, Miguel and Dante. Dante is very colorful on this purple wavy kind of thing, or I guess it's a, an orange wavy kind of thing with a purple color for him. But Miguel looks really good, very nicely done. Kathleen says, all oh, the food sounds good. Susan says, cute, cute. Excuse me. All right, so we still have a few minutes to go, so let's continue our tour around the World Showcase. 
and just take in some of the ambiance and maybe some of the topiaries as well. Charles says, Remember Me, one of the signature songs from Coco. Great film, lots of great music, and some fun characters too. Miguel was a, a very memorable character. Sometimes you see a movie, it's like, I don't know what any of those people are called anymore, I just don't remember them. But Miguel was very memorable. Heather says, so well done. Mick says, I had the best job. It's a volunteer position, but it's fun. I do very much enjoy bringing some Disney fun to everybody on these Saturday Facebook Live broadcasts, which get posted over to YouTube as well, in case you ever miss it. Also, the Pin of the Month Club, Countdown Calendar, T-shirts, news almost every day at worldofwealth.com, every weekday anyway. So thank you so much for being here, for commenting, for liking, especially sharing. Sharing is one of the best ways to get the word out. And it's because you do these things that sometimes I get the opportunity to check out new stuff. Courtesy of the nice folks at Disney Media Relations, as I did this week and a chance to see a lot of what the, the Flower and Garden Festival had first and was able to bring you articles and videos on that. So thank you. Without you, none of that happens. Ah, looks like Donald is out meeting friends in his big old sombrero. Quite a few people lined up waiting to see him. Ron says, how about a shameless plug, Ron? I love the way you think. I am happy to share with you a shameless plug. Today, you win the award. My appreciation for prompting it. If you or anyone you know in the United States of America, minor outlying lions, minor outlying islands, or military bases, would like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. So interesting note here out in World Celebration Lagoon, uh, some days I have been here and the new smaller barges for Luminous have been parked during the day. And I thought the idea was that those barges would be moved backstage each evening so that we have nice views uh, across the lagoon. And that seems to be happening now, which is amazing. That's wonderful. Um, the old barges from Harmonious were, well, many people called them an eyesore. Um, they were humongous. Uh, now the new barges are for Luminous are much smaller but it looks like they're also transported backstage each day and maybe not always or maybe not at first but they are gone now which is nice because it is great to have such a clear view across world showcase lagoon so i can see the uk i can see canada over there to the far right i can see morocco i can see the eiffel tower the japan pavilion the american adventure italy germany nice view <laughs> Karen, the taco barges, as they were infamously called, that's right. Someone, I'm sorry I missed the name, says definitely looks better without them, without the barges. I agree with you. All right. We are hearing the music from Norway. You can actually see a troll topiary. Just beyond the trees there, you can see him. He looks a little green. Uh, and there's the Anna and Elsa topiary over here as well. We should be able to see them very nicely done. Tamara says, glad to have the beautiful unobstructed view. I completely agree with you. It looks really nice now. Sherry, hello to you. Ron says, cloudy it still looks like a great day. It is a great day here. It's a little warm, a little humid, uh, about March humidity levels. Not surprisingly. So not like wintertime dryness, but still not like the blistering summertime. Uh, and because it's a little cloudy, the sun is not as intense. It doesn't feel quite as hot. It's a, it's a pretty day for sure. Ah, so let's check out here in the Norway Pavilion. It'd be easy for me to miss it just looking over at the line for Maelstrom. Uh, these flowers that kind of look like snowflakes. Very cool. Nice display. Christina, hello to you. Happy Saturday. Susan, without the barges, you see London, you see France. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Donna, oh, to be in shorts and a t-shirt. This is the joy of living in the South, isn't it? Or visiting the South. You can't live here. Come visit. Spend your tax. Spend your spend your money. We need your tax dollars. 
Okay. Let's make sure we take in the Anna and Elsa topiaries, which are looking good. Here they are in all their magical wintertime glory. I really like the style of these topiaries now that Disney has put together. Um, there was a time when the faces were made out of complete living moss material, flowers, that sort of thing. And, you know, you get the idea, but not like now. And I think Disney has sort of said, okay, there's no rule that every inch of this thing has to be uh, a living material. It needs to be a live flower. Uh, so it, it gives them a lot more flexibility to make the faces much more realistic on what you're expecting for the characters. And then the bodies can be made out of, you know, your typical live plant material. So very, very nicely done. Lillian, hello to you. All right, we're going to head over to the China Pavilion. So looking forward to checking that out. And actually, in the front of the China Pavilion, I have noticed a display which is years in the making and very interesting. So there are some bonsai trees here on display, which I don't remember seeing in the past. I think this may be new for this year. And we've got a plaque on each one that talks about um, the sort of genus and species, um, as well as uh, how old it is and how many years it's been in training, uh, which is really interesting. So this one that we're looking at right now is 30 years old, which is amazing. That, that uh, bonsai tree, 30 years old. I always think I associated bonsai with Japan, um, but maybe it's Chinese as well, or maybe it's just Chinese. So here we've got one, the Fukien tea tree. It's informal, upright, 21 years old, been training for 20 years. Judy Gore presents this just beautiful work of art. Amazing. A very large one here in the center, also. 20 years old, been in training for 14 years by Peggy and Ron Miller. Don says they they have to have them over in Japan, probably so. Uh, this one looks great, been training for 16 years. This is a 20 year old tree, a banyan tree, interestingly. Something I could actually pronounce. It's really fun. Someone says they uh, they sent a countdown calendar to a family member. I'm sorry I missed the full message, and they love it. Thank you so much. It was very nice of you to do. Appreciate your sharing that. I'm very glad to hear that they're enjoying it. Wonderful. I like to hear that. All right, Reflections of China. Fun movie. If you haven't seen it in a while, it's worth checking out again. The Temple of Heaven. It's very beautiful. Continue our stroll. And we can check out the panda topiaries here in the China Pavilion. Someone says bonsai originated in China. They looked it up. Very interesting. Good to know. Thank you so much. All right, here are the panda bears looking good. Peggy says, Wikipedia says bonsai is Japanese art. Very interesting. Susan said, very cute. Beverly just ordered a countdown calendar. Beverly, thank you for that. Appreciate your support. Karen says, loves the bonsai, Japanese art. But room to display them in China. Very good. All right. Continue our March Around World Showcase. Donna says, loves the pandas. Skies are looking a little foreboding. Didn't think it was supposed to rain today. My watch just shows cloudy, cloudy. Becky, hello to you. Thank you for watching. Amy says, looks cloudy, that it is. The temperature right now is 74 degrees on the way up to 81, so a warm day, but not blazing hot, not bad at all. 
So we were talking about the barges earlier today. This bridge, uh, which you might not even realize is a bridge, sort of opens up so that Disney can move barges, excuse me, off stage. You can see that the little riverway here sort of takes a hard right, and over to the right-hand side is where uh, there's a, a dock, I guess, and a working area. That's where they originally built the infamous taco barges. So, yeah, you might not have even noticed that this is a bridge, but uh, I've actually seen it in the raised position. It's a pretty pretty significant piece of infrastructure. It's a heavy-duty thing. But you could walk right across it and never even know. It's, it's very, very, very sturdy. All right, we are heading back towards the Germany Pavilion. Paul, hello to you. Thank you for joining the live broadcast. Good to see you here. Uh, someone, I missed the name, was talking about the testing of the log ride of the Magic Kingdom, I think referring to Tiana's Bayou Adventure, slated to open in the summer of 2024. Don't have an exact opening date yet, so summer, you know, is a pretty extended period, depending on how you just choose to measure it. I mean, it could be any day in the next couple of months up to August or September. Um, given the fact that there is water flowing through and there is testing going on, um, seems like they're pretty far along. So it's going to be exciting when Tiana's Bio Adventure reopens or opens. It used to be um, Splash Mountain. So excited to see some of the new animatronics. Uh, it looked very, very good. All right, welcome to Germany. The music here is very fun. And the beer garden, in my humble opinion, one of the very fun restaurants here at the Epcot World Showcase. You get a chance to sample lots of different German fare, including my favorite, the red cabbage. Elizabeth, hello to you. Happy Saturday. Kathy says Germany has an off awesome showering buffet yes the the move or excuse me the, the restaurant is amazing ben hello to you happy saturday all right i see straight ahead snow white and the seven dwarfs we got to check them out as we make our way towards the american adventure nice little area here to sit down at the picnic tables with the umbrellas very cool and Ted, of course, the apple strudel, one of the signature desserts, which is really, really good. All right. Seven Dwarfs topiaries. I don't think I've ever noticed the little caterpillar on his nose before. I don't know if that's new. That's fun, though. You're going to have to guess who each of these dwarfs is. Maybe sneezy, maybe happy, maybe sleepy, maybe picky. Okay, that's not really a dwarf. Looks like grumpy. Maybe Doc. And Snow White. Beautiful, beautiful topiary. Along with Dopey. Very cool. All right, we'll continue our tour of World Showcase. There's a beautiful floral display in the Italy Pavilion of Lady and the Tramp. Got to check that out. Just like mounds and mounds of flowers. Don't 
Donna says, she's very pretty, I think referring to Snow White, very much so. Elmer's getting us ready to enter Italy. Music has changed, it's very fun. Karen says, loves the dwarves. Ashley says, loves all the topiaries, counting down to a spring break trip. I believe on the 16th, that's great. I have just a couple weeks to go. Hope you have a wonderful visit here and a great spring break. Susan says, loves the lady in the tramp. It's sort of tucked back into the pavilion a little bit, so I think it's easy to miss, but it is one of the, in my opinion, larger and more colorful topiary displays just because of the, the huge number of flowers in the front of the topiary. Peggy's voting for some pizza. Got you on that one. Time for some Tutto Italia. Tramp looking good. It's a beautiful, beautiful set of flowers here. Very nicely done. Mick says Via Napoli is the best. Sally just booked 220 in May and can't wait. I think referring perhaps to Space 220. Jody says gorgeous. Jean's going to be here in April. Very nice. All right, looks good. Ted says, favorite festival, favorite time to go is April and May. Definitely a good time to come. Not going to be cold, not going to be blistering hot. It'll be warm, but not blistering hot. Laura says, thanks for the video. You are welcome. Thank you for being here and sharing in the fun. All right, let's make our way over towards the American Adventure. So in addition to the outdoor kitchens, in addition to the topiaries and the floral displays, there is the Garden Rocks series, performances that take place here in the American Gardens Theater uh, with a lot of different groups. Kind of fun to see live entertainment at Epcot as part of the festival. Karen, hello to you. Jean says, is there a map, a list or a map of the topiary? So there is a festival guide. I think it's a little more focused on all the food items, and there are lots of them. I'm not actually sure if it lists out all the different topiaries in their locations. It's a good question. Maybe someone on the broadcast here knows. I'm thinking it maybe does. That's a wild guess. Melissa, hello to you. Heather said saw, saw a starship last year. They were phenomenal. Always fun to see the musical entertainment here. It's part of all the festivals. Disney always picks a lot of very fun groups. All right, the American Adventure in all its glory looking great. Carol, I salute you. Thank you for sharing the flag emoji. All right, we are in the American Adventure. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you for joining me on this first weekend for the 2024 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. It's fun to see a lot of the new topiaries, uh, check out some of the food offerings and just the beautiful displays that are all around the park. I appreciate your being here. Thank you for your comments. It's always fun chatting back and forth. Um, thank you all for this, also for the likes and the shares. So I uh, wish you a great Saturday, and until next time, God bless.